You guys are great. No, you're great. Woo! You're great, Stop it. What? Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll rumble. All right, guys. If you uh, if you guys want to come out tomorrow night, go hit up uh, Jesse Jarvis. He's going to be at the Funny Bone. So go out and support more live comedy. It's going to be a great time. It's free. He's got tickets. Keep that clapping going. The funny guy, one of my best friends in comedy, Chris Martin, the professor. <laughs> By applause, everyone here's for Team Edward. <laughs> By applause, everyone here's for Team Jacob. <laughs> By applause, everyone for who's Everyone who's for team, I don't give a rat's ass. <laughs> BP decided they weren't popular enough, so they started burning endangered sea turtles alive. <laughs> they did that on the advice of their public relations consultant, Adolf Hitler. <laughs> Former CEO of BP got in trouble for lying about a gay romantic affair with a Canadian. That offshore drilling just doesn't work for BP. <laughs> Everyone have a great 4th of July? Always choke up when they sing the Star Spangled Banner. When they get to that verse about bombs bursting in air, I get flashbacks about previous stand-up comedy sets. <laughs> I did an uh, open mic at Kazi's Comedy Club in Newport News, Virginia. I'm not saying it was a tough crowd, but I cleared that room like the Marines in Fallujah. <laughs> Too soon? <laughs> at Bunker Hill, the American commander told his troops when the British were advancing, don't fire until you see the whites of their eyes for the stains on their teeth. <laughs> Hessians were upset about the outcome of the Revolutionary War, the American Revolution. Anytime they lose a war and they can't kill six million Jews, they get pissed. <laughs> the Hessians sent Arnold Schwarzenegger forward in time to assassinate Supreme Court nominee Elena Kagan. They set the coordinates for a Chinese restaurant on Christmas Day, unfortunately they got mixed up and Arnold wound up killing the state of California instead. This country has really made a lot of progress in 1776. Back then, Thomas Jefferson owned black women. Today, Ellie Spitzer just rents them. <laughs> Some people fire off firearms into the air to celebrate the 4th of July. Dick Cheney doesn't approve of this. It's a waste of perfectly good ammo. <laughs> Dick Cheney was hospitalized with discomfort. It turns out that Al Gore gave him an ab abdominal massage. Sarah Palin is going to be making a reality TV show about honey in Alaska. It's called Deadliest Snatch. <laughs> July the 1st was Canada Day. I like to think of Canada as America's mini-me. How great is Canada? After all, 43,000 Americans died rather than moved there during Vietnam. <laughs> Everyone like to travel? Get a hold of yourself, young lady. Everyone like to travel. Thailand is cool. In Thailand, at the Family Dollar Store, you can actually buy a family. <laughs> Why do zombie pot smokers like to vacation in Mexico? Because if they get the munchies, there are plenty of brownies around. <laughs> General David Petraeus fainted during a congressional hearing. It turned out that he had General Stanley McChrystal's foot in his mouth. <laughs> Prince Harry of England was thrown by a horse during a polo match in New York. Fortunately, his stepmother, 
Her little heart of old was not hurt in the accident. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm blanking. Brownie. Yeah. Oh, the Russian president Dmitry Medvedev turned down the offer of an iPhone, three iPhones from Steve Jobs. He said, hey, in the Soviet Union, we got better cell phone reception than AT&T. <laughs> Janet Jackson, mourning the first anniversary of Michael Jackson's death, flew implants at half-mast. <laughs> Riding at the G20 conference in Toronto, Canada, kind of boring. I'm waiting for writing at the G-Spot conference before I get excited. <laughs> the Hardy wildfire in Arizona has been contained. It's a good thing it wasn't an Ed Hardy wildfire, because then the fire departments would have had, had to attach douche nozzles to their hoses. <laughs> Sex is kind of confusing. I'm still trying to get the hang of autoerotic asphyxiation. <laughs> A lot of my blind dates have been disasters. I'm thinking about that blowjob from a seeing eye dog in particular. <laughs> my name's Chris Martin, and that's my time. Thank you very much. Give it up for Chris Martin.